So now we want to go all the way north uh, to finish the next two quests. And I guess pick up a third. Really? Because yeah. Because if we'd gone... Nope. Shall, uh, oh, oh! because if we go up, we can still go right. Yeah, and uh, Yager is at the very, very top. Ah, right, right. We do have to go up to the top if we want the tree as well. Ooh. Obelus Corruption. So you can get rare equipment drops. Evelyn will get the Grimoire of Flames. Except, oh, wait. That's not really that helpful. Fireballs into your deck? Yeah. I mean, are we going to accept the challenge anyway? Um, or you don't want to? Mixed feelings on this one. Obviously, if we get the Grimoire of Flames card for free, that's not the most useful, and I don't like it that much, but it would unlock it. We don't really want the rare equipment shop because we are poor. I'd actually say we skip the Obelisk. Okay, sure. Of Corruption. Because those benefits don't look very good. Oh, and I'm Ooh. glad we did. These guys are tough. Ooh, yeah. Look at the, like, Treants and the Dryads. Yeah, so... I will say the Dryads need to die sooner than later, if because possible. Because are they healers? Yeah, they're healers. Okay. It does look as though the Treants are the ones with yeah. mallets for uh, arms. I, th I think I... Uh, so when I was playing the demo... Ooh, yeah, should I do sprint? Obviously. And I don't know if I should do Adrenaline. Yeah, do Adrenaline. That. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then, should I do just a bunch of aim shots or the rupture on someone? Do these guys even have blood? I suppose uh, they, they can will bleed. bleed. Sap. Um, so mouse over aim shot for a hot second. I want to check something. Um, eh, I get slight resistances. I would almost say it would be worth uh, just shooting the second dryad three times. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Because that puts her within range of being killed by either Evelyn or even the healer. Does fire do more damage to these? Yes. It should, at least. Wait, why do we still have itchy burns? We haven't gotten rid of it yet. Oh, no. Okay, mm -hmm. I do have fire blast. So, it looks like they don't take bonus damage from fire. Oh, no, they don't. They're just three. Yeah, so I, I'd hit her with fire blast and icicle. And that way, no matter what, Reginald can take her out. Oh, but icicle's a random monster. Oh, try it anyway. Look at that. Oh, it still chose her. Hey. And then just elemental ward herself. That we don't take the burn damage. Yeah, if I if I had known that that icicle was random, I may not have chosen it. Because in this game, tac for tactics, you want to have as much control of your abilities as possible, I would yeah. think. Overgrowth, yep. Trunky? That's what they're called? They're called Trunky. Aww. Oh, termites. Ew. He has a lot of defense. Yep. These guys are stinky. I don't like him. Oh, there's the itchy burn again. So Should I use trace on myself or someone else? I trace on yourself. You got two deflects. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. I get rid of the slice and the rupture. And, oh. So, deflect. Deflect. I honestly just ice shot the dry dryad. Oh, you don't have the energy. No, I don't. Not enough. I have uh, aim shot, but it's the upgraded aim shot. Yeah, I'd, I'd hit the dryad. Because they're, they're buffers. We do need to rid ourselves of this burn at some point. Mm -hmm. It is. The fact that we acquired it so early into the run, and it's going to potentially follow us through to the end. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Oh, Moonfire. It begs the question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All monsters, Ember Storm. Yeah, it seems like a good time for it. Put some burning on them. 
one. So I will say... Oh, should I use charge battery? Don't... Yeah, but don't do it on the middle guy. Do it on the dryad? Potentially. Uh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd hit the dryad with charge battery twice. I could have used transmission to hit Nah, it's fine. More. Better to do the charge battery on yourself. We don't need Reginald terribly for healing right now. Oh yeah, everyone is practically at full health. Bomb. Hmm. Oh. Entangling roots. Does that slow oh, down? Oh, it's shackle. It's not a bomb. Mm -hmm. It's a ball and chain. It, yeah, it, it reduces your speed. Hmm. I only have three energy. So I would Hunter's Mark the Dryad. Okay. And then just wait. Don't do anything. Because I can't really slice. I could... Oh, so the that's front reason... monster for all of these. Yeah, it's front monster, and he's got four thorns and the armor buff going. Oh, by thorns, does that mean I take four damage? Or, yeah, four piercing damage to the attacker if it's in melee, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. So, oh, this guy's immune to bleed. I was right that they're immune to bleed. Remember when I asked if they even had blood or if yeah. they could still bleed sap? I didn't even check that. Oh no, they've healed up. Yep. Oh, I was going to mention before when there was the moon fire and now the star fire. Was it World of Warcraft that popularized moon magic? Or was that also in Dungeons and Dragons? That moonbeam and things were spells specific to druids. Because when were druids associated with the stars as well as nature? Is it because you had things akin to Stonehenge where it was specifically in relation to the movement of the moon and stars probably when it comes to druids i'm so glad we killed that first dryad mm -hmm. these these guys are misery and i i honestly hope the devs go through and nerf them just a <laughs> little bit because the these enemies straight up heal better than we do Ooh, now I have a lot of frost. Yeah, so I would, uh, I would probably do. Ooh. I also have fire blast, which is. I I probably do big frost bolts. On the dryad. Yeah. And then more frost bolts. Yeah. Might as well do fire blast on her as well, because it doesn't clear the frost. And then, and then elemental ward yourself. Elemental ward. Best that I could do. I took her down quite a bit. Yep. So mm. one aim shot should take her out. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. And do I try to? Do I? Can I start doing? Aim shot on the back guy, probably. Well. He's I'm... only got thorns one. You do not want to hit the front guy, and oh. you do not want to rupture because they don't bleed. All right. So just an aim shot on him. Yeah. Wait, he still took thorn damage? Yeah, he had one thorn. Even with a ranged attack? That yeah, doesn't it's make, it's rude. That doesn't make sense. These guys are mean. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Because thorns should only be if you get within close range. See, I want to play as these guys. Like, I want to <laughs> play as dryads and trunkies. There's healing rain. Okay, start with the holy smite, then a healing rain, which unfortunately heals. Oh, it heals them too. Yeah. Oh no. Not that happy about that. It's because they're plants, right? Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no. Healing rain unupgraded heals everybody, oh. but it's more useful for us because it got rid of all of the burning. Yes. Because we are no longer on fire. Thank goodness. Oof, they're really thorning themselves. Yeah, I really don't like these guys. 
Um, uh, unfortunately, they've lost all their charges. I mean, obviously, mana gain. Yeah, mana gain transmission Reginald. Because we want to start healing. Mm -hmm. And then probably just charge battery the front guy. Yeah, because every time you hit them while they have thorns, it reduces their thorns count. So well, now, now you can no just lay into the front guy. Now he has no, no thorns at all. Yep. Uh, Should I use Trace on myself or on one other character? Trace on Magnus, probably. Ah, uh, you can get rid of the defense if you don't want them. Well, I want the defense, but I more so want an ability called Barricade. Um... How much mana has he got? I'd say... Yeah, hit that deflect a couple of times. Okay, and do I want to do... Rupture and Slashes? No. No? No. Why oh, they don't, they don't bleed. Yeah, why, rup why Rupture? Yeah, they don't bleed. So, Ice right. Shot on the front guy plus a Slice might not be a terrible idea. Prep him for the cold damage. Ah, uh, yeah. That would work. Because hopefully Evelyn will have some ice damage that she can dole out. <laughs> there we go. I find it amusing that the wolfmen are the sworn enemies of the the pigs. So, okay, so should I just do ice? Yeah. Crossbolts? Yeah. And, and then Icicle. Ah, uh, but it's a 50, you know, it's 50 Yeah, it's 50 a 50-50, 50, but it's fine. Ah, it's still got him. And then Charge Battery. Finish him off. And, and then, then Elemental Ward yourself. Don't use Ember Storm. Well, okay. I guess Ember, you could use Ember Storm. This all does some damage. Yeah. We're back into the satisfactory territory. Hopefully we don't get to four. But that's gonna be next round. I don't believe we'll be able to finish him off before then. No. But at least it's not underwhelming. Oh, wow. So, you've said that it's a roguelike, so does that mean we're gonna go through this forest several times? Or you said that after, across the obelisk, there's the second. Yeah, there's some round. area past where we are. Uh, that this is just the very beginning. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is a, going to be a bit of a long roguelike to play through, which I think is part of the reason why they have... I do sprint. There you go. Okay, so don't Hunter's you... Mark and Slice, and just slice them up. And he doesn't have thorns on him currently. Wait, yep. how did you get Itchy Burn? It's it's a card in our deck. Wait, wait, we can't remove it from our deck? We can, but we have to visit a specific place to do so. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, that's the rub. But that's okay. Because we are underwhelming. Or poor. I'm sorry. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. What did you select? Uh, Just the shards? Yeah, by accident. Sweet. Oh, require stanza? No. Annoying whistle. So that applies mind damage. And then there's more deflect. Horse cards. Ooh, the scroll of intellect. Grant one energy per charge at the start of the, the turn. One extra card charge. Yeah, scroll of, of intellect turn. looks amazing. I'd grab that. Yeah, I'll grab that for her. Do you think I should do deflect? Anyway, deflect? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Because no matter what, that card is helpful just to have. So we have to go north. Mm -hmm. Story time. I love story time. In the forest, you found a large open space that seems like the perfect place to rest a bit before continuing on your journey. When you go to set up camp, you realize that there is already another group of adventurers camping. And they see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also tells you... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> huh. Hey, you want to share some stories from your travels with us while we rest? Would you oh, like to well, share his camp and tell them a story? I'd say we do the... Show the note about the yeah. tree and ask about it? Yeah. You tell them a... F Wait, a fake story about why you're looking for the tree. 
They believe you and tell you that the tree is near the southeast fang gate. After that, you rest a bit. Oh, so we didn't actually share the tree? We just... Oh, okay. So we're fine. Yeah, so we didn't actually tell them where the uh, why we're going for the tree. So we keep going north, hit the bandit camp, then the treasure spot, then the old tree. Okay, so south fang gate? Mm-hmm. Sacred ground. Damage plus two. Resistance is plus 20. You want to do this? Yeah. Remove one card for free from the deck. <gasps> we can finally remove those flames. Yeah. The extra money in crystals would probably be good, but getting rid of the itchy burn seems really getting useful. Getting rid of the burns. Wait, these are rabid werewolves. Yep. They don't look nearly as elegant as Magnus. Nope. Oh, we are fully healed. Well, we rest at the camp, I suppose. I guess so. Works for me. Uh, so I will say the enemies have Sanctify. Uh, Should I so, do Sprint? Yeah, do Sprint. Sprint, Adrenaline. Uh, let's see. Mark? Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, you have enough energy for everything. So full ham on the hog. The hog. Yeah. Well, full ham on the hog? Yep. Really? Hey, look. If I'm given a pun... That is that low hanging. Should I also use Heck yeah. the, chart, the shot? Because I don't think any of these guys are a healer. Ah, that guy's a rogue. He's become somewhat transparent. Wow, that was fortuitous. Did that heal the pig as well? It did. Look at that. What the... Oh, no, I know why the pig healed. Uh, we have Sanctify on us. He did a multi-hit. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you got four. I would say frost. Transmission Self. And, and then, then Frostbolt. Just Frostbolt the front guy. Or, yeah. choose cards to put at the top of your deck? Yeah. So now we can see what they do. Oh. They do have healers. Like, <laughs> not a small number either. Is it the two guys in the rear? Yeah. Or no, no. The one in the very rear, he definitely is wielding a staff. Yeah. He's a shaman. And has shamanism, which just gives shielding, but also healing totem, which uh, heals the lowest health. Mm. Critter. So that's why the pig got healed up. Well, no, no. Uh, we have a debuff on us currently called Sanctify. And look at that. He, he healed up that pig. Yeah. So, Shell, yep. we have a debuff on us called Sanctify that makes it so when an enemy hits us, they heal for H 8 HP. So the pig did a multi-attack, uh, multi which is why it healed so Who much. Who should I put this on? Uh, Probably Evelyn. So get rid of Itchy Burn. Yeah, definitely get rid of Itchy Burn. I'd say get rid of Fire Blast, Icicle, and Ember Storm. Just get rid of a lot of them. Everyone? Yeah, because she's got a bunch of mana coming in the way, and I shot the pig. Yes, because he already has some frost damage on him. Ow. Yep. Okay, please get rid of the pig. Uh, he only has 17 health. Yeah. Oh, your attacks don't do that much. I have Rend, which is enough. Applies more bleeding. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm just worried that the Shaman is going... No, the Shaman's not going to get his turn before the pig. The pig's yep. going to bleed out. Is he invoking a rage spell? Some yeah, so he's it? he's got uh, extra damage. Okay, uh, so should I target the shaman next? 
Yeah, well, the one problem is he's currently got block. I wouldn't go for the shaman. I'd actually okay. go for the uh, the assassin guy in the middle. Okay. Now, I do have the scroll of intellect. Mm -hmm. Who should I give that to? Mixed bag. It's worth it to put it, give it to Ed Reginald or yourself. It depends on what you think we require. We're pretty healed or, up. Or Andrin. Mm -hmm. Maybe Andrin. Andrin? Yeah. I, I suppose he could get a number of attacks in. Mm hmm Or Blast. So, go... I was saying middle guy. Oh, middle guy, sorry. He's so much more killable. It's fine. Uh-huh. All right. So, should I use charge battery? Yeah, charge battery and frostbolt. Charge battery is always worth using. Because it's free as long as you can kind of An elemental chain. ward on who? Uh... Because I don't know if Evelyn needs it. Then again, they're not, they're mostly doing physical yeah. attacks, aren't they? Well, so yes, but the thing is, Elemental Ward also gives you one block per charge at the start of the next round. So should I give it to Reginald? Uh, He's been hit. Yeah, the I give it to Reginald, and then. Uh oh! Did he get an ignite and she burn? Oh, He's yeah. fine. You do have the healing rain. Yeah. Actually. You might want to. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna that... healing rain because that gets rid of the burn on us, which is way more useful than healing them slightly. Uh, let's see how much do I have. I've got enough for everything. Ooh, getting close. Oh wow, that slashed all of us. Oh, and there's the shock. Ow. Okay. Come on, get some good stuff. I'd start with the deflect, yeah. Deflect. Okay, so... Hmm, there's Not... the hit... Those are front monster, though. All of these the slices, too? You've got five mana. I'd say just go rupture. Mm hmm And just slice. You might want to do hit and run. Oh, it's okay. Oh. It's too late. There we go. Just to put him up in the turn order? Well, yeah, and also hit and run is worth two slices. Ah. Oh, no, you got an itchy burn. Yeah. Uh, oh. What's wrong? You just didn't draw... That good of stuff. I was really hoping she'd get at least something worthwhile. Okay, who should I use Fire Blast on? Just the front guy or the yeah. back middle guy? Either or. Oh, I suppose the middle guy would have had less HP. Yeah, do you want a transmission? Yeah. Charge battery? Yeah. Uh, you want a transmission Reginald? Okay. And then Elemental Ward uh, uh, Magnus. Magnus. Yeah. He'll need it. Okay. I don't have anything too fancy. Wait, I guess he doesn't need it. Not that Foresight really helps me that much yet. Foresight just allows you to see their cards? Yeah. Yeah, see what they're going to do. Oh, they have a chain lightning. No, nah, it's just a big lightning. Not chain. Ah, okay. Still hurts, though. Really? Oh, okay, thank goodness, I thought... So, Trace... Trace on... Self. Self for him? I mean, there's a lot of deflects, rupture, aim shot. I'd lose the aim shot and the rupture. You don't have the energy for them. Okay. Deflect. And yeah, just chain a bunch of deflects right now. Deflect. And there should be another deflect. Here we go. And then we, I have a slice. So, hit and run. Um. Right? Let me think on this one. So, you have three energy. You um, could... So I can pretty much only do a rupture and a slice. Or... I would do hit and run and then slice on the front guy. Oh, he has some kind of block, so he didn't take a lot of damage from that. Uh, it's fine. Well, he has 16, what, 13 health. So he's on his way out if we can just get those last hits in. Yeah, because you have a deal 11 damage. 
It's gonna be seven. But that's enough to kill him. Because, yeah, he just bleeds out. Mm hmm. Goodbye. Okay, so I can do more chains. Yeah, I'd probably just do charge battery on the middle guy. Mm hmm. And yeah, I... just try and finish him off. Ah, uh, okay. Who should I ward? Magnus or Reginald? Magnus or Reginald? Either or. Oh, another itchy burn. Thanks. I can't. I can't wait until we just defeat this group so that we can get the itchy burn out of our decks forever. Yep, I'm in full agreement on that one. Ah, oh, the healing totem. It wasn't too much. This music is so peaceful. It is very peaceful. All right, so do I even need Hunter's I do Mark? ice shot, but I think you can only ice shot the back guy. Oh, you're right. I'd well, still ice shot him. Yeah, it does help. I just would have liked to have slashed the front guy a little bit more. He only has 21 HP. Yeah, but if we can kill the healer. So that's what we're doing. We're oh no, the itchy burn! That's okay, you can just frostbolt the Frostbolt. And then frostbolt again? Yeah. Just delete him. He's gone. Because we're fairly well defended, so Stealth Boy isn't terribly worrying. How do we have so much defense? Uh, Reginald has... Or, Reginald. Magnus has the ability to give the entire group block. Oh, but look at that. All the block went away. Is it just based on the turn? Yeah. Yeah, so as soon as a round ends, we lose all of our block. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of tragic if the enemy moves faster than us, because then we just get whammoed. Okay. Hmm. Should I try the ice shot still? Uh, I'd hit him with two slices. Or hit him with two slices. We're still in the poor area. Yeah. I, I don't think we're actually supposed to do well until we get meta progression. But I could be wrong. Huh. Curse of Elements. Does this apply flame, frost, and shock, like spark, all at once? Yeah. And deal shadow damage? That's not terrible. And then apply all of those? I, I like the idea of that. Ooh. Song of Quickness. That's interesting. So he is akin to an archer bard. Mm hmm Yeah, there's a couple of different builds you can go. Poison, bleed... So that's haste and swift, like swiftness. Okay. Yeah. The only problem with Song of Quick Quickness is you don't have stanza at all. Oh, right. So I'd say poison a shot might be interesting. Poison lose one HP per charge at the end of the turn. Hmm. So I don't really have much for poison, otherwise though. Yeah, but this unlocks it. All right. Itchy burn. Oh, right. We get to take away something from our deck, right? Itchy yep. burn? Itchy burn. So, remove. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yep. Oof. Goodbye, itchy burn. Fare thee well. No one will miss you. Is that it? Yep. All right. To the bandit camp. Let's hope we get some equipment, though. We are... Having a day. Fresh meat. As the priest told you, Yager is here. You can clearly see a big werewolf in the middle of the camp yelling and giving orders to the other werewolves. He immediately notices your presence and looks at you with a mocking face. Time to honor your promise to the priest and kill him. The butcher of Senenthia that has terrorized this forest for far too long. Alright, right now? 
Trying to escape will only make things worse. He dies today. He dies today. Wait, Magnus, I know him. I served, wait, he served under me in the Wolf Wars. Maybe I can reason with him. That's not gonna work. You know what I mean? I mean, we could try it. That's actually, uh, well, I'm already locked in. Never mind then. Oh. Conflict resolution, oh, if we make different choices? When there's a disagreement between players, a conflict resolution role is required to decide who wins. In the event of multiple ties, the winner will be chosen at random. So I can choose, wait, lowest card, closest card to two, or highest card. Wait, I, I choose the lowest card, right? Uh, I'm curious. I think it pulls, I would. I win. You win. So well, we shoot. I really wish they would let me re-choose. Well, oh, oh, I see. It yeah, wasn't. I it wasn't... pulls from your your deck, so you should have actually go, gone for highest card. Oh, I I see. What I assumed that it was for the outcome, because Magnus needed a one or under mm -hmm. in order to win that. So I was basing it off of that. Role, no, but no, no, it I was player been conflict it... between the two of us. We we learned. Uh... You weren't listening, but it's okay. All right. It's fine. You attack. Because I, I assume that even Oh, it's he, just him on his own. I he just, does act three times, though, which is a bit of a worry. Uh -huh. I just assumed that if Magnus tried to reason with him, even if we failed the reasoning, we would still end up in this fight anyway. But there was the slim chance that he would... Ah, uh, but then the problem is we wouldn't have been able to avenge the priest and yeah. everyone else. Okay, so sprint... Deflect. Hmm. Should um, I do hit and run? Yeah, I do hit and run. And then rupture. Because we've already buried this guy in bleed effects. Hmm. Well, definitely mana gem. You've got curse six. Of the elements? Yeah, curse the elements. Should I do a transmission on... Oh, Reginald? Reginald, definitely, because Ma poor Magnus is already... Well, he was pre-hurt. And then, should I just charge battery Yeah, him? absolutely. All right, and turn. That will give him more shock. Yep, look at all that damage. Wait, he's summoning more! What? Rude. What? I was wondering you, about that. You were saying he was alone. I was hoping he was alone. All right. Oh, you took off the flames. That's okay. Ooh, the music got loud here. It did. We still got four. Do a sacred bolt, but no. I'm just gonna get Magnus back up to near full health. Ooh, a prophecy. And then we get a second healing rain. There we go. That actually, that worked really well. Mm. So. Ooh, so I can definitely deflect. But then should I do a hunter's mark? Yeah, I do a hunter's mark on the shaman. Ah, uh, this guy in the middle. Mm -hmm. and, and should then I poison, poison the him? shot, yeah. My question is, though, if we defeat his underlings, will he summon more, or does he have a limited number that he can actually bring to bear? Don't know. That might have just been his first... It just might have been his first move. Mm -hmm. It'd be terrible, though, if it really is a situation where he'll continue to summon more, so we might as well just focus on the boss. The main thing is, he's got armor. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know. All right. So, fire blast. Should I just fire blast the shaman? Yeah. Okay. Should I do the charge battery? Yeah. I, I keep doing it on the boss. On the boss? Even if it's fruitless, you might as well keep stacking up that lightning. Um, And then do an ember storm. I'm not going to be raining anytime soon. All right, I do have enough to put element to wards up. Should I ward anyone? Um, 
because everyone is... Yeah, I would... Who should I ward? Um, honestly, probably Andrin and Reginald. Ooh, he's bleeding. Actually, everyone's bleeding. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, Frost is running out on on the boss. Though so he does have all that block. Now, when it says prevents 11 damage, does that mean if I have an attack that's 12, all but one point of damage will be blocked? Will that destroy the block? Will it expend the shielding? Or is the shielding permanent until... Oh. It's just the next round. Uh-huh. So now he doesn't have that anymore. Yeah. But now the shaman has shielding. Yeah. Oh, now he has shield. Oh. Oof. Yeah, he's rude. Okay. So who should I use with Trace? Um. Reginald for healing stuff or? Yeah, maybe. You don't want any of those cards? No, because Reginald goes in the back. His his deflect is kind of okay, but it's... Should I do aim shots at anyone in particular, or just attack the front what guy? What you got? <sighs> Probably I, I'd wail on the middle guy. He <laughs> needs to die. I'd save your energy for the next. Really? Yeah, because you're uh, only going to get slice two energy. Would, the slice would go for the front one. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Unfortunately, Reginald is a little bit far. Oh, wait. No, you did displace him. Great. Because mm -hmm. you need to get Reginald ahead. Oh, there you go. Oh, the Scroll of Intellect? Uh, potentially, yeah. Oh, no fire blast this guy. But what so else should I do? I would I would double firebolt the shaman. Frostbolt? Yeah, maybe? sorry. For, double frostbolt the shaman. And scroll of intellects Reginald. So close. But yeah, because he only has one burn damage, two poison. Last him. He did. I just hope that Yager can't summon more. He might have a whole wolf clan at his beck and call. He's I summoning a cutthroat next. So yeah, we we should go back to wailing on Wailing on Yager. Ah, oh, so it is one of those never ends. Mm -hmm. But maybe it would be more manageable if he only had damage dealers yeah. rather than a healer. Yeah, so he's gonna summon a cutthroat next, who does a ton of damage, but Sorry, my turn. Yep. Okay, what should I inflict? Should I just ice shot him? Yeah, probably. And that's it. Right, what do I have? Fire blast him. Should I use frost bolts? Yeah, probably. Oh, should I use a tran oh I can't use no, transmission. You're out of energy. Out of energy. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little worried about this one. We, Poor Andrew. We gotta kill Yager, is the real answer. Foresight, what, what is that putting underneath him? Uh, more or less, we see his next 10 cards. Uh, oh no! Evelyn! She's gonna bleed out! Yeah, she might. 
And even if you apply some kind of defense to her... Yeah, that might strike through. The bleeding might not even... Would I lose her for the rest of the run? I think she comes back after the battle. But that puts us in a really bad spot. Ooh, should I Hunter's Mark? Yager, yeah. And should I aim shot him? Yeah. I mean, one way or another, this is further than I made it on my own. Oh, poor Evelyn. She's gonna get shot or killed. The strike through didn't work, but oh man. Oh, Evelyn has been crushed. If your team survives, you'll resurrect with 70% of your total life. But remember, nothing comes without a price and you will carry the stigma for the rest of your life. Death's door. Lose one Yeesh. gold? Suffer two? One energy. Oh, energy. Suffer two and... Oh, so you're vulnerable? Yeah, so and reduces you're... resistances and reduces uh, damage and healing done. Oh, no. I mean... We kind of knew we were in trouble. Mm hmm Might have just been good to have attacked Yager as much as possible. I mean, he doesn't have a healer at his disposal now, but... Yeah, but he's got damage dealers. We might have actually been better off. Just attacking him from the mm -hmm. onset. All right, deflect. No, Trace. Trace. Oh, Trace, sorry. Who do I trace? Self. I uh, get rid of the aim shot. And you might as well poison Yager. Mm -hmm. Oh, Slice is just the I'm fun just monster. Wait. Yeah, losing him doing forty damage to Evelyn is like unrecoverable. Especially because oh, he's about to do that, it again. Look at all that damage. Oh. Yeah, if he does 40 to anyone, they're toast. Mm -hmm. Oh no, actually, you're in the bleed zone. Is there any way to... I mean, I suppose Reginald is up next. Yeah, so Reginald can keep him up for like a smidge. But Reginald needs to keep himself up. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, he's just dead. Mag Magnus is dead. Yeah, Magnus is down. We lose. It's fine. And he's... Yeah, he's about to do his fresh meat. So Trace Self. Get rid of the aim shots. Hunter's Mark, Poisonous. I mean, yeah, because he has five poison and a lot of bleeding, but that's just... Yeah, there's nothing. Magnus is going to bleed out. Yep. It's fine. I mean, it sucks, but this definitely feels like one of those... And if we hadn't come for Yager, we would have been fine, probably. Yeah, well... Or the maybe, boss would have killed us. Yeah, probably. The The unfortunate part is, uh, straight up, Yager was about to die. But we've unlocked a bunch of cards. Uh, it's we, back on the menu, boys. Yeah. Ugh, I hate that. Uh, so we also get a perk point that we can spend. Mm -hmm. uh, admittedly, I have no idea what that does. Okay, character perks. At the end of an adventure, all characters in your group will get EXP. Each rank will award you perk points. You can spend this buying upgrades for them. Uh, let's see. So, Magnus. Oh, so that was about oh. a little over an hour and a half to get through a run. Do I go to the main menu? Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm seeing the characters here, and was was the pig originally the priest? No, he. Oh, he's one of the options. Like he's the second uh, priest that you unlock. 
Oh, so there are more characters. Yes. So there's four from each class. Interesting. So are we going to play again? I, I'd be down. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to spend my perk points first. Where, how do you spend the perk points? Is it the Tome of Knowledge? Uh, so just go to single player. Just hit play. Do I have to create a new game, though? No, you, you don't. You can, you can back right out. Oh, there's the character perks. Oh, I do have little trees for them. Yeah. I yeah, only just... have one available point. So, oh, rank one. Lock charges, max HP, speed, all resistances plus four, sight charges plus one. What do you think I should do for Andrin? Uh, let's see. So, Andrin... Should I just make him faster? Or... So, I think what these do, for block charges plus one, that means whenever you apply block, you get an additional one. Um, so, block charges could be useful. Speed might be more useful. Mm -hmm, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. For Evelyn, I would say shield. Shield charges. Does she have uh, the ability to shield? Yeah. Remember, she had the um. Okay. Uh, what what spell is it? Elemental ward is is seven shields, so that put it up to eight. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. And also the uh the item you lost, the family jewels. <laughs> uh, not actually that good. It's okay. Okay. So did I actually upgrade them? Do yeah, I, go back? I believe so. Um, but we'll do another run in a bit. <laughs> 